because I couldn't make it to church today with a sick wife and baby, or overtired wife and baby. I'm going to record this video for you, Carter, because I know you've been waiting for this for a while, to learn some strumming patterns. Just for the occasion, I have chosen to use my world-famous Ronald McDonald guitar pick. Actually, Graham Wenz got this for me. He went and bought a paper, or a, a card punch, and then he was able to punch this shape out of this card that he had. So you can even see the barcode on the back when he worked for Courtesy Corporation. So I have a Ronald McDonald guitar pick. Okay, so the first thing you do when you pick up your guitar is tune it. So your guitar should sound very close, if not the same, to these notes. Remember, E, A, D, G, B, and E. Those are each of the notes on your guitar. And you can keep on replaying that to make sure that your guitar sounds the same. If you need help, maybe you can ask somebody to take you to a piano, and then you can find those notes, the low E, and then the next note up from there, E, A, and D, and G, B, E. Now when you're strumming, I'm just going to mute the guitar like this by covering the strings and not pushing down on them. And it'll just make the, the sound so you know how I'm strumming. The biggest mistake I see with new guitarists is they will take their pick like this, and they'll keep their arms stiff. you to take the pick and put it down and then take your hand and just go like this like it's floppy just kind of flop your hand that's the kind of motion you want your hand to have when you're strumming the guitar loose and just kind of hitting those strings at that type of rate you'll notice a sound difference when I go like this as opposed to this hear it. So I'm going to show you a few patterns. The thing you need to know about strumming Carter is that it always is different in every song. There's different types of beats and rhythms and you'll just kind of catch on to the beats every now and then. And uh, if you're watching the measures you'll see how many beats other to a measure. So it's not always going to be the exact same strumming pattern but you're going to catch on to that as you play more. But for our purposes now we're just going to start with the very basic really common this is the most common that I know of guitar strumming pattern is just a loose down down up down down up down down up down down up and you'll notice as I'm doing that I'm keeping my wrist loose the whole time your wrist should never be tight and you hold your pick like that you don't have to do it that way some people hold it like that I find that awkward I find this really awkward this is a good way to hold a grip on your guitar pick down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And then just practice that pattern over and over and over again. Now, um, since that's not really very much to teach you, I want to teach you a little bit more than that, too. I want to explain to you a little bit about theory with guitar. Most guitarists don't like to learn theory, but I think this is important for every guitarist to understand and know just how the notes work on a guitar. Uh, each of these spaces, as I told you before in our last lesson, are frets. See, there's a fret here, and there's a fret here. Um, when they say to play on fret 5, they're referring to go you know, up here to this marker or in this box here. And you can actually count up from the beginning, because this is fret 1, 2, then fret 3, then fret 4, then fret 5. I miscounted. This is 7, fret 7, and etc. Okay, now that I've got that explained to you, I'm going to play a little something here. You can leave certain notes droning when you're playing a song. Like this is your E chord. Can you see that clearly? I'm going to bring it closer, hon. Here's how your E chord looks. And I'm going to teach you how to play a lot of songs in the key of E. Usually whenever you say it's in the key of E, you're starting on that note. You take your fingers off and show you. Here you go. And you can also do it this way, if you like it this way better. I think it's much more comfortable to keep my fingers together. Kind of like with this A chord, you can also do the A chord this way, remember? I like to do the A this way. So, let's practice that strumming pattern. Now, I'm going to show you a trick. I 
can keep my fingers in that exact position and move all the way up to fret seven. See, now I'm gonna go slowly so you can see that. Yes. Starting here at E, I'm gonna keep my fingers just like that and then have these fingers go up to fret seven. So here's fret seven. And then I'm gonna strum again. sounds kind of strange, but I can play several songs with just these positions, and you don't have to change finger position at all, so it's a very easy beginner song. See, I'm not moving the finger position, I'm just staying like this. You just have to be able to look on this, and if you look at the side of your guitar, there are little dots to mark a whole step. Remember, the whole step jumps from one note to the next. So if I'm going to go up to fret 7, I'm aiming for this dot right here, the third dot. And then the next one, here's another dot right here, I go to here. Sounds kind of weird, but I'll show you how it sounds. song was that? It can be several songs. So for example, if I want to play C key first, the kingdom of God, I can go Practice that. You're not going to be quite that fast. It'll be kind of slow. But you can go as slow as you want if you want. What three are you using? So here, here's the high one. This is uh, the ninth fret that I'm here. Right here, and then here, and then here. So let's see if you can practice those. That way, not like the other chords I was, show I was showing you, like the E minor and then the A. With those, you have to move your hand. This might be a better beginner song where you can actually learn some strumming. And it sounds really cool. And if you practice up a little bit, and you can be creative with it, Carter, if you want to use um, your pick to do something unusual, like... That's another strumming pattern, which I'll teach you later. You probably don't need me to teach you now, you already saw what I did, I just hit that low note, and then slide over the top. So, I think that's a lot to work on, and Next time I see you, we'll see how far you progressed.